In this video, we'll be talking about the difference between baby cottonmouths or water moccasins and baby copperheads. So the copperhead or Echistrodon contortrix, this is an eastern copperhead and it gets its name from the copper colored head that it has. These are one of the North American pit vipers and they're generally going to be a light tan with the dark brown. They've got the hourglass like shape of the dark brown, sometimes a Hershey Kiss looking shape from the side. And the pattern can vary somewhat even across the different species like the broad banded copperhead and they don't always even line up. This one has some that line up and some that don't. But there's a general kind of uniformity across the copperheads. They're generally going to be up to about two to three feet and they give live birth. So this one here being about nine inches is a neonate. It's a little one, you know, it didn't hatch from an egg and it was given live birth. And if you notice at the tip of the tail, it's that lime green, you know, bright yellow color. Now these guys are found in a wide variety of high habitats. They can be in the woods, they can be on rocky outcroppings, they can be in marsh areas and swamps. These young ones are going to eat a lot of invertebrates, so millipedes, spiders, cicadas even, and basically little creatures that they can overpower and swallow. But then as they get big, they'll eat a lot more mammals and other animals. They'll be eating mice, young rabbits, baby opossums, other snakes, um, lizards, and then amphibians like frogs and salamanders. So when these give live birth, they generally have about four to seven young, around eight inches long. These ones can be found as far north as like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, all the way down to like Florida and Alabama. And then heading westward, you know, Kansas, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa. Now looking from above, you can see how some of these patterns kind of line up and match. And then other ones don't. These guys are probably what I would consider the least of concern for the North American pit vipers as far as how bad their bite is, but they are still a venomous snake. They have fangs and they will bite you. Most commonly when these bite people, it's just people aren't paying attention. People stumble across them, step near them, and the snake defends itself by biting. These ones generally freeze when they feel threatened and will try to rely on camouflage to remain unnoticed. Now the cotton mouth is a rather similar snake in some ways, but it definitely has its distinctions. While they're also called water moccasins, the cotton mouth name comes from the fact that they'll open their mouth and often display that white interior, which is their common defense mode if they feel threatened they'll often just curl up and gape at you. These ones are often in the two to three foot range as well, but they can get up to five feet or more. And you can notice the pattern pretty well on this young one, but as they get bigger, they often get much darker, which makes that pattern harder to make out. The Latin name, Echistrodon piscivorus, actually means hook-fanged fish eater, which is kind of a country redneck sounding type name. And these are the most aquatic of the North American pit vipers. And they can even be found in salt water, but a lot of times they're going to be in swamps, marshes, but then also like the rivers, lake shores, ponds, stuff like that. They do eat fish, as their Latin name would suggest, but they also eat a variety of other things that's somewhat similar to what the copperhead eats. These can be found in North America from in the west, more of the Texas and Oklahoma, heading eastward to Virginia and Florida. And among their other diet, they'll actually eat dead things as well, which is kind of interesting. These ones give live birth as well, they're not egg layers, and they will have as little as one, but as many as about 20. And they'll generally be about 8 to 14 inches, which makes this one a newborn. You can see here that both of these are kind of a wide-bodied snake, but they'll also flatten themselves out a little more. They both do have, you know, the viper-looking head, but a lot of non-venomous snakes will actually flatten their bodies out and then make their head look like that as well. I've seen various Nerodia flatten out their bodies and head to where they look exactly like they're built like a water moccasin. 
These ones too, although they're not rattlesnakes, like a lot of non-venomous snakes, they will actually rattle their tails too. And they both do have heat pits and also the slit eyes. Sometimes those slit eyes can be somewhat difficult to make out from a distance, but if you get a good look at them, you can see that. And of course, that's more noticeable and easier to see when it's in lower lighting. If it's bright out, their pupils are very narrow. And this young one here, you can see that pattern so well on that. But if it gets darker or grows older, sometimes they look almost black or really dark brown where it's hard to see that pattern at all. Here that slit eye of the copperhead is a little easier to make out. Hopefully this is a little closer look of some of the venomous snakes that may be in your area. Creatures in the wild are very interesting. A lot of children are intrigued by them. It's important that they know who they're dealing with. I have my children identify a lot of wild species of all sorts of animals, but snakes are one of the ones that can present some of the greatest threat to us. I have an entire video about keeping children safe around snakes you might want to check out. And it's amazing too that in this information age so many people are ignorant. It's so easy these days to realize that there's only a couple actual dangerous snakes that you have to worry about in North America. They're going to be cottonmouth or water moccasin, your copperheads, and then the rattlesnakes and coral snakes, but pretty much every other indigenous species isn't that big of a threat or big of a deal. Anyway, hopefully this helps. Feel free to check out some of our other videos on homesteading or some of our other snake videos. I'll see you next time. Papa out.